Hey everybody, this is Zetalonix from Zarium Films, and I have another exciting tutorial for everybody using the effect Ring of Fire. Um, so let's jump straight in. You can double click under your project tab or window, and this will allow you to import media. Um, mine's LMAO.AVI, and I've already dragged it into my comp. Um, so having your comp and have it set to exactly where you want it to start and then find where you want the ring of fire to start coming out. So mine's a basic clip of me four shotting somebody wall in one shot. So right here is where I want to start. About 701 maybe. Alright. So new solid and then your solid's probably gonna end up looking like this. Black solid one seven twenty by four eighty. You're gonna wanna make it four eighty by four eighty and the color red. Now if you want a purple ring, like instead of it being the ring of fire, the ring of water, the ring of ice, you know, change the colors because this is what the color of your ring will be. So you want dark green, you want you know, yellow, I don't know. This is where you'd completely edit with that stuff. So, I want mine to be red. Select OK. And hit OK. And now a red square will come up on your screen. Now, double click, or well actually, um, you should have your rectangle tool selected. So hold, or we'll click down and hold, and then let go on Eclipse, and then double click there. And a perfect circle should appear on your comp. Now you have mask one now because that's what the shape is made from a mask. So control D to duplicate it. And now that we've added it, we want to subtract it. This will allow us to do the ring effect, which basically looks like this. Except for adjusting both expansions, it gives you this look. So Now, I said I wanted mine to start around 701 or 703. I'm probably going to go 703 because we want a little bit of leeway room to have it flow smoothly. So, on ma mass expansion, on the end of the second mass where it's going to start, I actually edit both these to negative 213. At least for mine, that's how mine's going to be. Um, yours will most likely be the same. And then you'll have this small ring that you can barely notice. Now we don't want this to be there when we start, so set this about negative 223 ish. I don't know. Make a keyframe. Go forward to 703, which is where I want it to really start. And then adjust this to negative 213. Hit enter, and now you'll have it there. Now we can adjust just where you want this to be put over the the opponent or where you want the, um, the source to come from where the ring will be coming out from so now that we have that figured out let's actually get into the effects so we need to make a keyframe for mass expansion here as well and now we need to find where we want this clip to end at Maybe about right here. Now a little bit later. A little bit before now. About right there, 719 I guess is where mine will end at. Some set. Now you want this right here to go down to zero. And this one right before zero. So maybe like 10 or 12 or 7 even. And kind of gives you this ring that comes out of the opponent's head and now to have it tra smoothly transition out and to make it look a little bit more neat so feather you can you want to you can feather the outer rims now you'll notice that this right here is there so that could be annoying to people 
who really focus on detail and yeah um, so this back to actually zero and I think five is fine you don't really notice much but it kinda adds a slight effect there and now we could keyframe so we can go to up in the center a little bit before maybe it's about right here keyframe mass to is feathering and then move over towards the end to about 7 19 and we can change this feather out. so that way it looks a little bit neater now you don't want it to just fade right out so you can come in here and you could just adjust the scale to make it keep going and that would look nearly fine but if you're gonna do that you should probably you could bump this up while it's going so this is just kind of what it would look like but only once you get to about here so now mine's at about 152 so 150 even will be where I could start adding keyframes so 100 100 or not 100, sorry, 0, you don't want any feathering, so to make this smoothly transition out, we're going to have to, uh, sorry about that, alright, I don't know, I just spaced out completely, uh, whoa, now, if we move back a little bit, we worked if you add a scale keyframe and then move forward about here make it out and I don't know how well it's actually going to play but you see it gets bigger 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 and that's not enough room to do an effect like that which is why the keyframes really skip out which I think people might have noticed. So there, that's kind of what it would look like. And then, right about here, keyframe the feather, move towards the, move to the end of it. My computer is going slow again, and you can just bump this up. I don't know what just happened. I don't even know why it would do that. <sighs> but that's the general concept of the ring of fire effect. I really don't know what's going on. Alright, so right here is where our keyframe is. I go forward to right about here. Move forward. Bump this up. That's what you'll see. Mm. All right. So those are the basics on the Ring of Fire effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial by Zetalonix from Zarian Films. And check out our videos. Um, check out our profile. We'll definitely be having more stuff coming up soon. So thanks for watching.